After returning home from our trip to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, it was the first day of November. Costumes and candy corn were a thing of yesterday, and the change of the month had already brought a sample of cooler air moving into the upstate in its slow race towards wintertime. It also brought me to a day that now holds a special remembrance, as well as serves as the starting point for a time of year me and Sarah love equally. While making my way through the backyard, amongst the freshly fallen sweet gum leaves and the spiky gum balls that fall along with him, I headed towards our old weathered outdoor shed that stores away a lot of the forgotten relics from the past 15 years or so of my life that are now forced to survive the seasonal elements each year from sunrise to sunset. That is until around this time of year. As I tracked down the key that would pivot and release the shackle from my semi-cold padlock, I slowly opened the worn wooden door to reveal our stored keepings that must bear the brunt of finicky Carolina weather conditions. As I stood there looking around and familiarizing myself with the boxes and containers labeled with their suggested content, there was one mission on the agenda for this very first day of November. We were putting up the Christmas tree, a day that now stands as a memory of our dog, Tippy. He actually passed away on this day, but this is the anniversary of him going to dog heaven and uh, so we started putting white lights on the Christmas tree and we decided to name our Christmas tree the Tree of Life. Today is actually his anniversary, so everything done today is in memory of Tippy, as well as our recent dog who passed away, Emma. She was a black lab and she passed away in the earlier part of 2020. Now the Tree of Life will also represent Emma as well, so. But also, this day serves as the start of a season that will hopefully bring plenty of good times and memories for many years to come. I proposed to my wife during the holidays, along with the backdrop of some well-known Rankin Bass characters around and with a small wooden jewelry box I custom ordered that would play a song from the popular Christmas special when she opened it, placed under the tree. The song I wanted to be part of our engagement. The words of the tune fit the moment perfectly. There's something about that simple wedding scene between Kris Kringle and his bride that really moves me. I also like the snow-covered pines, the forest friends, and the wintry wizard in that scene. So much I ordered us a character set of our own that we set up each year. I like to leave messages on the boxes upon stowing them away each year. I admit it's a little gray of a thought, but just in case I'm not here, a little note and a reminder, I'm still around and they should never forget I'm thinking about them. It's funny, this old shed holds times in my life when I didn't know what I do now. Things that meant much more then, but have since then moved on and been placed outside to make room for the new. A grown daughter's shoes and clothing, old lamps and furnishings, lost photos, books and keepsakes, all things that once served a purpose now reside on the exterior of my life, but not far from the warmth of home. Until that is, when the former desire to rejoin with the new, like this time of year. With each load carried in, the realization that another chance has been given to us this year to make the most of it. No matter what the tests or trials we faced, no matter the uncertainty or the unexpected that lies ahead 
or any other unforeseen circumstances. We still had us. And today marked the beginning of another year together during the holidays. Doing it the best we know how. After getting things inside and situated, I began the task of setting up our old artificial Christmas tree and carefully arranging the branches to fill in the noticeable voids. A quick test of lights proved we had our first holiday debacle. This set of lights does not work and either does this set. The majority of our white lights weren't working. That's the third set of white lights that doesn't work. After trying to replace the fuses and bulbs, all to no avail, a trip to the local Walmart was in order. But it was okay. We've been going with all white lights on the tree in memory of Tippy for the past two years. But for the memory of Emma, we had decided we wanted to include colored lights along with the white lights this year. After picking up a couple boxes of new colored lights and some local Japanese hibachi, in good spirits, we headed back home for a quick bite before hanging the lights and trimming up the tree. Some people wait until later in the year to put their tree up. Why does it look all bunchy up there? What oh, is please. bunchy? I don't know what that word means. And I also know there's plenty out there that like to do it early. No joke, the earliest we've ever put it up was in September, and the longest we ever kept it up, I think, was May. Sarah's parents have us both beat and haven't taken theirs down for over 25 years. One of our favorite ornaments through the years. Here's our ornament from our visit to Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. For the past few years, we've been buying a new owl decoration. This is the one we picked last year. We visited the Christmas Story House a few years back, and I've always been a huge fan of the movies so it should come as no surprise that this is my favorite ornament. Hermie and the Abominable are a close second, no doubt about it. Hey, check out this mountain man elf on the shelf looking ornament we found. I guess he's just hanging out scouting things for the big man up in the North Pole. We bought these three ornaments one Christmas on a family outing with my daughter, and of course have hung it on the tree ever since then. They mean a lot to me. We all love Christmas and spending time together as a family. Our dog Tippy lived a very long life, and now his ornament rests on our tree each year. He was a very good boy and we miss them a lot. And this ornament right here is in memory of Emma. This, this is her first ornament for the 2020 tree. We plan to find an in memory ornament for her over the next couple weeks and place it near Tippy's ornament. Along with my marriage proposal to Sarah and the musical jewelry box, I also got her this engraved snowflake ornament that would symbolize when we first met and our engagement, amongst some other reasons. I gave it to her the Christmas morning I proposed. I think she was pretty surprised. For over a decade now, 
We've done exactly this. Enjoyed the moments that come along with the excitement of decorating our Christmas tree, remembering the true reason for the season, and envisioning the moments that lied ahead in life, right beside the Christmas tree. A time that is meant to be filled with joy and wonder. And although a lot of things have changed through the years, one thing still remains exactly the same. We're together. <laughs>